Hello guys welcome back to my channel and this video covers lot of facts that make you fun so don't wait let's go. We live, we love, we love. Deep in the dark, I don't need the There's a ghost inside me. Batman's online screen name is John Doe 297. Batman has a seemingly endless fortune and every crime-fighting gadget a vigilante could ask for, but sometimes even superheroes want to take advantage of the convenience of the internet. And a panel shown by IGN proves that in one print cartoon, the computer-savvy Bruce Wayne, aka Batman, engages in online conversations using the screen named John Doe 297. Dr. Seuss has wrote his most famous book to win a bet. In 1960, editor Ben of Cerf, the founder of Random House Publishing, bet Theo Geisel, the man you may know as S. Dr. Seuss, that he couldn't write an entertaining children's book with fewer than 50 words. The result? Green Eggs and Ham, one of the most popular children's books in history. Dr. Seuss saw how wildly successful, and useful, this 50-word constraint was for children just learning to read, and went on to write many more books, finding the limitation of a strict word count to be an untapped source of creativity. Lyme disease is named after a place. The disease first gained attention in the 1970s in Lyme, Connecticut, where children and adults were experiencing puzzling conditions due to what seemed to be no cause, rashes, fatigue, flu-like symptoms, paralysis, and more. Doctors pretty much gave up trying to figure it out, and two mothers were the ones responsible for conducting research they were still unable to determine what caused it, but they did give it its name. In 1981, a scientist named Willie Bergdorfer finally identified a connection between ticks and the disease. Dudism is an actual religion. Yes, you read that right, the laid-back pacifism espoused by Jeff the Dude Lebowski in The Big Lebowski has its very own church. The Lebowski-inspired Church of the Latter-day Dudes says it has ordained over 450,000 Dudist priests worldwide, and even has an online university where they offer free honorary degrees. Say what you want about how questionable this foundation is for a belief system, but hey, at least it's an ethos. QR codes can be used to plan your funeral. QR codes, those square digital barcodes you can scan with the smartphone that are usually used to compare prices of items in supermarkets, the fin popping up in cemeteries. But instead of seeing prices when you scan a gravestone code, you'll read an obituary and see photos of the deceased. And you can pre-plan your funeral online. You're not supposed to shake a Polaroid. In the 1940s, when Polaroid first came out, the instant film did not have a coating, and you literally had to coat the photo yourself with the liquid emulsifier, then let it dry. It would stay wet for up to 15 minutes. The easiest way to get it to dry? A quick shake. Eventually, the photos were covered in their own emulsifier with a mylar coating, so there was no need to cover the liquid and dry it yourself. Everything happened under the plastic dot however, the shaking had already become a thing people did. In fact, Polaroid issued a statement in 2004 after Outkast single Hey you cried out to shake it like a Polaroid picture that shaking the instant film can actually damage the photos, because it can cause the semi-wet ink to wave or blur before it's had the time to dry properly. There's a natural lake the color of Pepto-Bismol in Australia. Western Australia's Lake Hillier might be a place worth adding to your bucket list. That's because it's a bright pink lake that is not man-made, and, to this day, continues to baffle scientists. Their best guess is that it has something to do with the algae in it, specifically Dunaliela, which produces crotoids, the things that make carrots bright orange. There's also a high concentration of salts, which may have something to do with the color. The lake is totally safe to touch, but you're not allowed to swim in it. Duffel bags are named after a town. The duffel bag gets its name from the town of Duffel, Belgium, where the cloth used in the bags was originally sold. The fabric was a coarse, thick woolen cloth that was originally used for the sturdy coverings of ships. It's been suggested that the bags were made out of scraps for sailors and explorers on their way out to sea. Bug spray doesn't repel mosquitoes. Though it's pretty repelling to humans, it's not a smell that repels mosquitoes. Deep just masks what you smell like to the mosquito. It creates a barrier on your skin that interferes with the mosquitoes and any that detect the lactic acid and carbon dioxide they're attracted to that usually make them bite you. Also, your bug spray should always go on after sunscreen. 
If you can't stand the meat and regular bug spray, you may consider using lavender oil and lemongrass oil on your pulse points, as they repel mosquitoes as well. In fact, if you're having a bug problem in your garden, you can plant lemongrass and lavender to greatly minimize insect problems without having to use pesticides. It would only take one hour to drive the space. If you got into your car, turned on the ignition and drove up to the sky at 60 miles per hour, it would only take one hour to get to outer space, according to astronomer Fred Hoyle. Of course, that's if you could drive a prince at all. But it sure is fun to think about. So thanks for watching this video please like share comment don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon.